I want to bring in India today is Gaurav Savant, who's also tracking this, uh, uh, you know, this development very, very closely. Gaurav, the export of Brahmos cruise missiles to the Philippines last year was seen as an, uh, you know, uh, of something that of, is of enormous significance, uh, you know, given, you know, give, given China's actions in the South China Sea, Asia Pacific region, and the Indian Ocean. Now, Indonesia and Vietnam. You know, both countries, uh, you know, that uh, are watching China very closely. Vietnam has territorial maritime disputes with China as well, both wanting to sign on for this Indo-Russian weapon system that's built exclusively in India, sends out a massive message. Shiv, this in itself is a is power projection. So you have one power projection when you have two aircraft carrier battle groups carrying out an exercise. That's power projection. And your Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles being bought by countries for shore-based anti-ship defense system, like in Philippines, is again a very major signal that is being sent. Indonesia wanting to buy it, Philippines has already bought it, Vietnam wanting to buy it. It's a very major signal that's being sent out to China. One, it talks about how good this weapon system is. And as you well know, India has the triad, um, submarine launch, ship launched, air launched, uh, uh, mobile launcher uh, launched, uh, supersonic cruise missiles, uh, anti-ship, anti-war, uh, yes. anti-land. So, uh, and the fact that you also have your Sukhoi 30s that have carried out a very major exercise, airborne for eight hours, Sukhois with these missiles, again a game changer in the region. So hmm. supersonic cruise missiles, very versatile and absolutely accurate. India has been saying it all along. Other countries wanting to buy it is a major power projection. Shiv, if I also may, yes. just for brief 30 seconds, you have Chinese weapon systems that are being bought by several countries, including Pakistan, who are complaining that Chinese systems are failing. Chinese aircraft, Chinese engines, Chinese weapons, Chinese ammunition. There are complaints that are yes, appearing from absolutely. different parts of the world. And you have an Indian system that is doing so extremely well that other countries want it. It's, it's a good sign. It's a, it's a show of strength. India needs to just keep, the, keep, keep at it and keep up with this. Because it's not just the Brahmos system that India has put out in the market. There's the Astra system, there's the Akash system. There's so much that India is out in the market for the world to buy. It's amazing because, and you know, I'm glad you brought out that point, Gaurav, of the difference in quality between Indian weapon systems and Chinese weapon systems. We've seen the Pakistani struggle with certain Chinese weapon systems, like you rightly pointed out. But also, you know, Gaurav, you were in Taiwan last year. Uh, and we, we, you know, as we know that the Chinese have an integrated approach to everything. You know, nothing is disconnected from the other. India flexes its aircraft carriers, India selling Brahmos uh, missiles to Vietnam and Indonesia, and China, meanwhile, will try and release, you know, selectively edited video footage from the Galwan incident. Uh, you know, as someone who looked at this very closely, as one of the few journalists who actually visited Taiwan, what do you make of this? Are we wrong in piecing all these things together? Because this appears to be how China works, Gaurav. Shiv. China actually is behaving like a bully, like an expansionist force, hoping yeah. that the other country would be bullied. In the past, often we did get bullied. Here, there is a very strong counter-reaction uh, to, to Chinese bullying tactics, whether it was the action that took place post-Galwan. Uh, you know, perhaps at an appropriate moment, uh, India also has pictures, and perhaps India will also put out pictures that will be hugely embarrassing for Xi Jinping and, and the attitude that China displays. But if we were also to talk about Taiwan, yeah. China has two major Achilles heels, you know, apart from the, the situation in Tibet. Each Chinese submarine that comes out, Taiwan keeps a Hawkeye, because those are very shallow waters, uh, and, and there is an eye that's kept on China. Point one. Point two, Malacca Straits. Again, uh, this is where China is extremely vulnerable. So hmm. all of China's muscle flex in the Himalayas gets countered here. That is what China is trying to counter and may be in a position to counter in the next uh, you know, two decades or so. But right now, India dominates the Indian Ocean region and this is where India needs to once again work on that advantage to ensure that India's dominance stays carrying out joint exercises yes. with countries like Australia, Japan and the United States of America is again a very effective counterbalance to China's expansionism. And this is where China 
actually China's nervousness shows releasing these pictures now and perhaps in the run up to 2024 elections you will see a lot more psyops from the Chinese side but there are effective countermeasures that India also takes with these two carrier battle group exercises with selling weapons and systems to countries yes. like Philippines in the past and Indonesia and Vietnam showing interest and a lot more that we will know in the times to come Shiv.